Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state and see what all the hype is about. We are in big, beautiful Alaska for this episode, and the first thing you might notice if you take a look down here is that while $4 million is a lot of money, for the most expensive house in a, in the, for sale in the entire state, that's not that expensive. I mean, especially for a 14-bed, 8-bath house. Um, and, and you know what? The, the, the Part of the reason for that, I think, is that rich people, they, they might like to think that they're like rugged explorers or they're like outdoorsy, but they're like, they're bougie outdoorsy, right? Like they're, they're hiking through the woods, but they've got someone like carrying their shotgun for them or something, or, you know, they're, they're big game hunting in Africa, but they're going to go back to their luxury hotel afterward. Um, and Alaska, Alaska's just, it's, it's not a luxury. It's beautiful absolutely beautiful it's not luxurious that's not what i would call it there's there's too many bears for luxury which you know that's i think also true of a lot of russia so make up that what you will um so one thing that i'm gonna point out here is that the sky is so photoshopped I, and and a lot of these really high-priced listings they do they photoshop like better skies in it's so weird to me i don't know what it's about but it's it, absolutely a thing um all right let's let's move on we got this nice little cabin and uh you know i like those i like the window shapes you got you got flowers you got all this yeah, it's very nice yep yeah, it's it's the alaskan wilderness right away you know what in the rest of the u.s we people have to show that they're they're like boat rich, right? They're they've got a, a boat garage. These people are plane rich, um, but <laughs> this is another reason I think this house might be uh, priced a little lower because I, I checked the details on the listing. This property is only accessible by plane. That's that's the exit you have to fly in. And I, like, I'm thinking, when I was looking for my house, I'm like, oh, that's, you know, that's not really near any good bus lines, or like, oh, that's got street park. I don't want to do street parking. Imagine if you're, like, house shopping, and you're like, oh, man, I, I really love these countertops, but <laughs> it's only accessible by plane, and that might be a little inconvenient when I need to go to the store. Um... I mean, obviously, obviously the, uh, the answer there is that this is someone's fourth or fifth home. This is the Alaska home for someone with just an ungodly amount of wealth. Um, but yeah, they got this, they got this plane and they're very proudly displaying it and their little hangar, which, you know what, it, it's a small plane. I feel like this hangar is not like this. It could be a little bigger. Is all I'm going to say. If I had to fit a plane in there, I would want a little more clearance than that. All right. Got a nice deck. All those flowers. All right. This is this is standard stuff. Oh. oh. All right. Oh, man. All right. You get some scenic outdoorsies. Oh, oh my God. Um, I would like to say that I'm surprised by this amount of taxidermy. However... I'm really, really not. Let's, let's take a, oh, it's not going to let me zoom. All right, that's fine. Um, <laughs> we got a full fucking bear. Uh, that looks like a fox of some sort. We've got, I swear, uh, oh, there's the antler. I was like, I knew I saw an antler. Or did I just manifest? Did I just see this room? And I was like, there's antlers in there. <laughs> um, this is some sort of something up there is that a, an otter or something? i don't know this is <sighs> aggressively masculine there's um yeah all right we're getting we're getting another angle here um <laughs> i didn't even look at the floor that's an interesting floor that's it's not tile is it stone is it some sort of vinyl or i, I don't know what that is 
I imagine cold feet would be maybe an issue in Alaska, but also I, this is someone's summer house. They're, they're not coming here in the winter. This whole house is probably closed up for the winter. Um, oh, <laughs> there's the moose. I knew it was coming. I knew the moose would come. Uh, and then these, I don't know how I feel about these chandeliers that are just like random sticks. And then like the lanterns. It's, it seems like I get that we're going for like a rustic, like cabin -y vibe, but like the lantern, it, it seems a little like you're, you're trying too hard. You're trying too hard. Um, all right. This is, oh, we've got multiple tables. This is so you can, like, cosplay a wedding party? I don't, I don't know. As, pretend that you're, you're at a wedding and you got seated at the back of the wedding because you don't actually know the groom that well. Um, or because you're the, the singles that are going to get too drunk table. Something like that. Oh, look, there's a deer up there. Um, I think that, oh, and there's a pelt. God, what is the... What is the body count on this? There's more pelts. There's more pelts over here. Jesus Christ. Are those wolves? I think those are wolves. Dear Lord. We are, we are, I think at, at least 10 on, on the body count here. Um, PETA, don't at me. I'm, I'm with you. Uh, well, I'm not with you, but for this purpose, I agree that the moose antler chandelier, it's, you know what? Not necessary. It's not necessary. It's a little, it's a little much. Um, let me actually look at this room. And it's, did they put like studs? I like this angle's kind of interesting, but I, f I feel like they went at it with a bedazzler or like, like a stud gun, like, like you use for, to make a jacket punk. Um, yeah, let's, all right, that's, that's a sitting room. It's a sitting room. That's all. Um, it's okay. I've got, I've got a question here and I feel like I, I don't know enough about fire. I, I didn't think there was much to know about fireplaces personally. I thought they were a little self-explanatory. This seems weird to me and, and someone correct me if there's an explanation, but oh, the little stove inside the fireplace Seems nesting. I, it gives nesting doll, you know. All right, and pine cones, of course, and your gun. All right. Mm. Uh, all right. We got we got two beds in this little room. We got a pelt over here just to make you feel cozy. Oh, we got fish. We got fish on the bedding. Oh my god. I'm really doubling down. This is just a themed house. The snowshoes on the wall. We love decorative snowshoes in Alaska. Oh, more antlers. More antlers. All right. Um, oh, we, oh, apparently people do go here in the winter. Who would have thought? All right. We've got snowmobiles to get around. Definitely necessary. Looks charming in the snow. Probably some really good, uh, Oh, what do rich people do in the snow? The ski, right? There's that's that's a hill. You could, you, I I don't know if you could ski on that. That's a lot of trees. Um, I'm I'm a Midwesterner. I like flat ground. I don't get the skiing. I don't want to be that high up, and I don't want to fall that. You know, just give me flat ground, um, and I'll be fine. All right. Okay. So we got multiple buildings. We got like little cabins. This is kind of a compound sort of thing, um, which is nice because you know I imagine if you're flying out here, you're like you're bringing guests or something. I don't know. Oh, they've got more than one. They've got, they've got more than one plane. Everybody, that's a thing. All right. All right. And is that a glacier? I think that's a glacier. It's kind of, I don't know. Your own personal glacier. Why not? Uh, this is, I don't know where that house is. Somewhere in here. That's, oh, they gotta, they gotta give you the view from the plane. 
because they are plain people. It was an otter. It was the thing that I was trying to figure out what, and they've got, do you think those are real taxidermied fish? Or do you think they've got a real taxidermied otter chasing plastic fish? Do you think those are like the big bass? Do you think those guys sing? That's many questions. Many questions. Oh, <laughs> they've got two moose next to each other so they can have a con They look like they're having a conversation. This guy's like, hey, do you like being dead? And this guy's like, no. Uh, what are, are those? Oh, those are ski poles. Okay, so they do ski. We've figured it out. They do ski. Those are ski poles. Uh, these handles, again, like, I get that you're going for a theme. It's too much. It's too much, the driftwood handles. They're, you're trying way too hard. Like, a couple of driftwood handles, like, maybe just the top. Might have been a fun little, just here, might have been a fun accent. But you've got ten on each of these. That's too much. Or no, no, those aren't ski poles. Those, I, I lied. I lied to you. Those are fishing poles. So that you can catch fake plastic fish like that little otter. I like the duck. Uh, we've got a rifle. All right. This is some sort of workshop area something? Who can say? Not me. Yeah, this is a workshop, I guess. Machine shop? I don't know. I don't know enough about things and stuff, you know? I need to call my dad. Oh! There's bears! I told you. I told you. The rich people, they don't want to be that close to bears. They can't handle it. Oh, jeez. So, fun fact for people who aren't familiar. If you see a black bear, the correct protocol is to try to, like, intimidate it off. And you, like, make yourself big. And you, like, make a lot of noise. And you're like, Rah! And a lot of times you'll scare them away. As long as there's not, like, mama and cubs involved. In which case, you're in a little more trouble. If you see a grizzly bear, the correct protocol is to lay down, curl up in a little ball, and try to hide your face, lay very still, and pray to God that it gets bored of batting you around before you die. That's the correct protocol for dealing with a grizzly bear. Um... You know, I, I was talking to someone who was like, oh, I really want to go, like, camping up in, like, in Alaska or something and see, I really want to see a grizzly bear. I was like, I don't. Never in my life do I want to see a grizzly bear. They're cool. I'm happy that they exist. I'm happy that they're in the world. I don't want to see one. I don't need to see one. All right, we're back on the porch. That's a nice porch. All right. Oh, we got another snow pick. Another snow pick. All right. <laughs> and another plane pick. Hey, did you know they have a plane? They've got two planes. And that's close up of the photoshopped picture. All right. And that is Alaska for you. Um, it's, it is a wonder. And for the low, low price of... Four million three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and ownership of a plane <laughs> if you happen to have a plane and four point three million dollars you too could enjoy this home that's all right if you enjoyed this uh you know comment like oh you, you know how it works all right let me know what you think